Hey guys, I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. And, and we're, we're the, the Infinite, Infinite Explorers. So a lot of you guys that know us know that we both have our own photography businesses. But this is our first project that we're kind of releasing to show you guys what it's going to be like to go travel the world through our eyes and show you some pretty cool experiences. So we just picked up the camper yesterday, as you can see in the back, and we're working on organizing it right now for all our upcoming adventures. So let's go check it out. So here's the inside of the camper. We've got a sofa on the right with some storage up here. And we've got an AC unit in the middle. Fridge is on the right. Queen size bed and there's some speakers up there and storage on the left. And there's also a spot for a TV over here, but we're gonna use that as storage. And we've got a furnace down here, sink, two burner stove, and a microwave. And the last thing that we're gonna be working on is turning the bathroom into a closet, but we'll have that in a separate video for you guys once the whole project is done. So now we've shown you guys what the camper is like. Let's head inside where it's somewhere warm. Hey, hey guys. guys, we're back. And we're all warmed up now. I got my hot chocolate. And I got my coffee. So we just wanted to talk a little bit more about why we started the Infinite Explorers. So a few months ago, once we started traveling together, we had a lot of family and friends that asked us, you know, hey, how was your trip? What is it like being around each other? How did you guys become a thing? boyfriend and girlfriend and we figured you know since we both traveled so much before we even met each other and we still have a lot of travels planned for the future why not start something that can explain and show you guys for real all the details of what it's like to do something like that mm -hmm. everyone always asks us how we met because I mean I'm from Wisconsin and Matt's from Minnesota and we're six and a half hours apart mm -hmm. so um Basically how it all came about was I saw his work, his Iceland photo on a Wisconsin photographer's group on Facebook and I reached out to him and just saying, hey, I love your work and I see more, more of his nature stuff, which everybody knows Matt for. Mm -hmm. When she messaged me, I was already typing a message back to her just saying, hey, you know, what's up? I have no idea who you are. <laughs> and we just started talking right out of the bat about mm -hmm. travels and I didn't realize that she had already gone to Iceland even though I was just there and we talked about other upcoming adventures but we just talked casually and we didn't really plan to ever meet each other. We didn't think we'd ever meet up maybe once in a while for a photography thing because I mean being six and a half hours apart is quite a ways. Mm -hmm. um, after one of my friends bailed out on me for an Indonesia trip, I still was bound and determined to go, even though my parents were like, well, we don't want you going to another country alone kind of thing. And so I immediately thought of Matt because he does all the traveling stuff too. And I'm like, I just messaged him and I'm like, hey, Matt, so uh, you want to go to Indonesia with me? <laughs> and that was what, two weeks after we ever started mm -hmm. talking? And I'm like, whoa, okay, <laughs> like, I've never thought of Indonesia, but that sounded really cool. And at the time, I had a plan, or a trip planned to the North Shore of Minnesota for fall colors. And I said, hey, Sarah, how about this? You come to Minnesota, let's actually meet in person so we can see if we can get along or tolerate each other even as photographers. Mm -hmm. And so we agreed. And she came up at the end of September, and it's kind of history since then. Yeah, I mean, we hung out for six days on the North Shore. Mm -hmm. uh, the first day that we met up, we booked our flights to Bali. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's just crazy how much we had in common the more we talked on the whole trip. Mm -hmm. uh, second day, we hiked Baron Yeah, Baron Bean Lake, Lake. Yep. yeah. And we met up with John, which you'll probably see in some of our travels. Yep. So. Mm -hmm. So we did a lot of adventures on the North Shore, and it was literally 18 to 20 hours a day of just constant talking. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and just even on that first hike we went holy cow like we clicked so well as far as so many experiences that we have been through so many travel things that we've been through um, and just things in life and so I guess it was a shock to both of us that we never realized that we could click as well as we did mm -hmm. um, and so by the end of that week we both knew we liked each other but we didn't know that the other person liked each other yeah so that leads into the Indonesia trip so basically Matt told me this after the fact but he was nervous and couldn't sleep for three days three days because yep. he was gonna ask me out on that trip and I mean I made the job easy for you yeah sure. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll save that for another time mm -hmm. so anyway on our Indonesia trip we had a lot of really cool experiences and adventures mm -hmm. uh, we climbed a volcano mm -hmm. we uh, got locked in our Airbnb mm -hmm. day one Day two, we started dating. I guess that's because we helped each other to get out of the locker room. And then she oh. tried killing me on a moped. Uh, a scooter and, you know, that kind of, yeah. That yeah. wasn't intentional, but mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. he still loves me after that, <laughs> I think. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it was such a fun experience. that, And we both love traveling together that we wanted to do more of that. Mm-hmm. We also had a lot of people asking us about our experiences and our trips and just anything about us. And we want to be able to share that more with people, not just our friends and family. Mm -hmm. So another thing with Indonesia is that we learned how to get along extra well for the sake of making sure each of us were okay in good and bad situations. Um, over there we had some pretty crazy experiences just because it's a whole different country, whole different culture, laws are different, 12 hour time change, and we didn't know what that would do to our bodies. From geckos in the room, to cold showers, to eating like raw meatballs. Um, that we got sick off mm -hmm. of. Just, I mean there is so much we knew going in, but there's also things that were unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> um, like the second to last day on our boat ride back, mm -hmm. we had eight foot waves and on that boat there was no life jackets. It was forty five minutes of that and I was just like, Oh my god, like <laughs> We're gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um and then on the last day, uh we were just taking pictures and a bamboo? Bam Baboon? Yes, I can't ever say that word. Um, pretty much came Damn after right. us. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it's just things like that just make it the adventure and journey. And mm -hmm. I don't know. But it's also we want to make sure that both of us are safe. Mm -hmm. And as photographers, we both know we really want to get the shot really, really bad. And we're willing to push limits whether it's heights or really bad weather anything like that but at the end of the day what was the best part was knowing that we could both read each other's limits to knowing like hey if one of us is uncomfortable with something that was it and we could be comfortable with calling it at that point mm -hmm. um, it wasn't anything that was forced and so through these upcoming adventures, you're going to see a lot of crazy things going on with just different experiences, whether it's heights, we could be at the edge of cliffs, we could be in airplanes, helicopters with no doors on them, anything like that. But through it all, we always put each other first to make sure that we're both enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I basically want to be able to show you guys even the raw experiences of the trip because not all the time is it just laughs and fun because there is some harsh conditions mm -hmm. and you get sick on trips too. It just it just happens. Mm -hmm. But we just want to be able to show all that experiences with you. So so Infinite Explorers, a lot of people go, okay, so how did you come up with something like that? Well, it was actually really hard to come up with whatever we were going to call this. Mm -hmm. um, to me, 
Infinite Explorers is, is something like you never stop traveling. There's always another adventure around the corner and you should always have something to look forward to in life. Um, pretty much for the last two years, I've always had some sort of trip planned at any given point, whether or not I just got done with the trip because it's always something to keep me moving forward and something to look forward to. And in today's age, so many people just keep wanting to work mm -hmm. and they don't want to take time out to enjoy anything. Yeah. I'm guilty, <laughs> but it's just, we want to, I guess, inspire people to just go out and do it. Mm -hmm. Got to take risks once in a while because you can plan things out as much as you want to, but life may not ever go that way, whether it means saving until you retire or going to school for something just to find out that's not what you wanted to go to school for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so about that coffee. Mm -hmm. It's getting kind of cold. You good? <laughs> I spilled on my salt. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't want to keep you guys too long, but we just want to say thank you for watching our video and we appreciate any support you'll give us, whether it's liking our videos, commenting, subscribing. You can always ask us questions, see what's coming up ahead. We can't give too much out right away because we have to give you guys something to look forward to. But so, um, yeah, thanks guys for watching and stay tuned for more. We'll see you on the other side.